Yo, what is up guys? For today, we're talking about Destiny 2. Now, specifically, we're going to be looking at the new world drop weapons that came in Season of the Worthy. Now, instead of doing all of them, which would have been a big fucking video considering there's nine, I'm going to be doing them by factions. So, first we're going to be doing Dead Orbit, and then we're going to do Future War Call, and then last we're going to do uh, New Monarchy. So, we're going to be looking at Escape Velocity. This one is one of my favorite weapons right now, and... Ultimately, I have two roles that you could do for PvP and PvE, which is funny because I think both of them have one same perk. So let's let's go right into it real quick. We're going to be looking at the first column, which is Overflow, Threat Detector, Grave Robber, Zen Moment, and Hip Fire Grip. And the last role is going to be Quick Draw, Osmosis, Surrounded, Elemental Capacitor, and Vorpal Weapon. So the God roll for me for PvE, PvE and PvP would be Overflow with Quick Draw for PvP and Overflow with Vorpal Weapon for PvE. Now, I have the Vorpal and Overflow one and I love it a lot, but for PvP, I specifically am looking for Overflow and Quick Draw mostly because Quick Draw, I'm able to quick like quickly draw everything else. Yeah, I don't have to explain Quick Draw. Quick Draw for me is something I'm looking for with Vorpal or with Overflow, mostly because Overflow is just so much fun. The fact that I can have 80 rounds on an SMG is bonkers as shit. Uh, you could tell me Vorpal Weapon and Overflow for PvP would be great too, which you're not wrong. Yeah, it would be great for that extra damage on Guardians with their super active. It's just that I would never use my SMG to kill a a guardian with their super i would probably go for my secondary or my special ammo so that's the only reason but it could be like a oh shit uh, like you just popped your super right in front of me let me just shoot you with it real quick yeah that could be totally viable it's just for me i would rather use quick draw so i can switch out to something that can kill that thing but this this weapon's actually one of my favorite weapons right now it's uh the weapon that i have up right now is obviously my overflow with uh vorpal that's the weapon I use the most right now, it's one of my favorite weapons. Uh, I have nothing bad to say at all about that weapon. I love it to death. I loved it when it first came out and I still love it now. I love SMGs like I've been saying ever since ever. And that's pretty much it for this weapon. I don't have anything else to say aside that I just love it. I mean, I can tell you about the scopes that you could get, but all of them are pretty good. Actually, all of them are super good. I would probably just tell you to put tactical mag or appended mag on it. That way you can put on a, an extra mod of ammo as well. But it already comes with a base of 37 ammo. So you're, you'll easily hit 40. Easily. So next one's going to be Dire Promise. Now, Dire Promise for me is not as good as the old fashion i think the old fashion has a better perk rotation for me at least but it still has pretty good ones you'll have overflow let triple tap auto loading holster opening shot and uh, uh, snapshot sights for the last row it's gonna be swashbuckler elemental capacitor osmosis range finder and under under pressure now me personally for pvp I would go for the opening shot and range finder, which is actually, I think, I think I have this role and it's fun. It's a lot of fun. I just, me personally, like I said, I value my old fashioned a lot more than this, even though I do have the opening shot and range finder, God roll. Apparently you could also do like overflow with swashbuckler overflow with osmosis, uh, specifically osmosis for my warlock from the Nezirak Sin combination that I like to do. Me personally, like I said, I just, I like my old fashioned a lot more. If it had, a, if it had like some damage perks other than Swashbuckler, I would love it more. Maybe I could use my Swashbuckler and like, I think I have another, I don't remember the other one, but I know it has Swashbuckler. I could probably use that for my Titan, but I value Swashbuckler more on weapons that are auto, not like, singular shots if you get my drift so like an smg an auto rifle stuff like that i, I value a uh, swashbuckler more just because i can spray it so that is dire promise like i said I'm, I'm not saying it's a bad gun either the opening shot and rangefinder is nutty as fuck and if you have it you know but 
that's the god roll for that specific weapon and i got really lucky lucky on it and it's wasted on me because i know people would love to get that but there that is the next one which is the final weapon and one of my favorite weapons again is gonna be the distant timulus now i love this weapon because i like the vice model and the so the rotation that you the 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 perks that you can get on this weapon is pretty weird if it wasn't if it wasn't for the nerf that snipers got ah this would be viable as fuck so we have dragonfly clown cartridge lead from gold pulse monitor and genesis for the first row and then for the second we have outlaw firing line quick draw snapshot sights and opening shot so for pvp there's a few roles you could go for obviously you could go from lead from gold that's a pretty good one clown cartridge could be pretty good as well uh dragonfly would probably be the one i would go for and then snapshot sights i think i have that role actually snapshot sights and dragonfly either snapshot sights or quick draw would be the one you you kind of have to decide on just which one you value more do you value having your gun out faster or basically snapshot sights i for pvp i would value quick draw a little bit more and for pve it'd probably be count cartridge or lead from gold and then firing line hands down hands down firing line would be would have been great with this with clown cartridge or lead from gold it would have been buck wild to have this combination unfortunately snipers are nerfed and they don't do as much damage especially the the rapid fire frames they're not that great for pve and for pvp it's fun it's a lot of fun it's just that rapids are not that great if i remember correctly you have to like three tap to kill supers in pvp if i remember correctly if i'm wrong let me know in the comments below but it just kills me a little because this could have been it this could have been it for pve but unfortunately bungie just likes to shit on dreams and it's kill it kills me too because it's base ammo is five bullets so you could get up this up to like seven eight with clown cartridge you probably get up to double digits maybe it's kills my soul guys it really does it kills my soul but that's pretty much it if you guys asked me if you guys ask me uh escape velocity is my favorite weapon in this uh list right now dire promise would is in the third unfortunately and distant Timulus is my second favorite i do use this for pvp and the role that i have specifically is one of my favorite roles on it uh the only thing i would change is maybe clown cartridge and maybe actually quick draw I think that role would probably be really good. Uh, I would think about Pulse Monitor, but Pulse Monitor is just like such a, if if all the other perks are garbage, then I'll take that. It's one of those. For Dire Promise, like I said, I, I loved, I, I, I love, I wished it, I, I wished I loved it more, but unfortunately the perks just really don't speak to me. And like I keep saying, my old fashioned actually has the perk rotation that i love 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 so yeah skate velocity has to win this one the next video is going to be new monarchy weapons and unfortunately no next weapon is going to be future war call future, future war call mm, there's a few things that are bad about that but i'll let you guys know in the next video if you guys want to follow me on my social media outlets things are in the description below thank you everyone for the constant support i really do appreciate it thank you everyone who's watching my other videos that are not destiny 2 related i really do appreciate that because ultimately i don't want to just put destiny 2 content up because destiny 2 is really stale at the moment especially when i think about the fell winter's lie quest step that just it pisses me off to no end that they thought that was a great idea and really i just i play other stuff and i don't want to just put destiny 2 up so my doom video should have been up by now if not i'm having a doom eternal video coming up and just thank you everyone that's all i can really say so i will see you guys in the next video also don't forget to wash your hands don't sneeze in people's faces don't cough in people's faces you guys know you guys know what's going on in the world right now it's fucking wild what's happening right now in the world and just be safe. And other than that, I'll see you guys later.